Shalom precious saints, a greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High, Adonai Elohim, Yahweh. Precious saints, I come on short notice. This is your brother and host. Joe Kennedy is my name, the voice of thunders. Precious saints, in a vision, I was caught up to Great Britain. I was caught up in the realms of God and I saw myself in England, the home of the royal family. And I was led by the angel of the Lord that always stands by me into the royal chambers of His Highness, the Majesty, the King of England, King Charles. And I saw King Charles on his royal bed. And in this vision, I, I saw uh, the queen, Camilla, was not present with him on the bed. I don't know whether she had gone to, whether she had gone to the washroom or not, I'm not sure. But in this vision, Quite emphatically, I have seen precious saints. The king lying there. And when I looked outside the royal door to the royal chamber where the king sleeps, there were guards with white long stockings and uh, rampers, things that look like miniskirts. They were dressed in the, the normal way they dress with a long sort of spear or of swords, I can't tell. They were silver in nature. And in this vision, precious saints, the king was sleeping with his front side of his body facing the heavens. He was sleeping front upwards. Precious saints, in the vision, I saw from the left wing of the wall, in the royal chamber of the bedroom, I saw a being, a human figure of a being, long, tall, and he had a hood. I've worn this of mine intentionally. He had a hood like this of mine. He had a hood, a long hood, and his face was veiled with the darkness. His, he had a hood like this of mine, but the, the hood garment was long vesture, black, and it was smoky, gushing out smoke, dark smoke. It was a hood, but long hood, with a sharp pointedness somewhere here like this, very sharp. And in the vision, precious saints, I, I, I saw this being, with a with a weapon like a sickle but it wasn't a sickle and immediately fear enveloped my being and i could feel the presence of death in the room i could feel the presence of death in the room and the angel of the Lord that always stands by me in visions and dreams touched my chest. And when he touched my chest, my chest went a blaze like it glowed. And words were coming from my chest, coming on the front view of my eyes. Words were coming from my chest, coming into the front view of my eyes. And the words that were written, the words that came in white smoke with golden writing. The words, when my chest went ablaze like glowing like light, like bulb, it shone with light. And these words were, were expressed to the front view of my eyes somewhere here. And the words said, the grim Reaper, 
has come for the king. The grim reaper has come for the king. And when I asked the angel of the Lord, telepathically, we were speaking through the medium of the mind, conscious to conscious. I asked him, what does this mean? And the angel of the Lord once again touched my front, my chest. And again, my chest went ablaze with the light and shone with the light. And words again gushed out from my chest like flashes of light. They were white in color, but the writings itself was coded with gold. And when I asked the when I when I asked the angel what that means, when he when, when the words that I had read initially said the grim reaper has come for the king. The, what the second words that came was the king shall pass on. I want this message to reach to Great Britain that the king of England shall pass on. The angel who stood by me made me understand the divine intelligence that was emanating from the ablaze chest from my body. And I was able to gather the information from the Lord that the king is soon to join Queen Elizabeth. Where Queen Elizabeth has passed on to. The king is soon going to join Queen Elizabeth. His mother, where she passed on to. This is the message that the Grim Reaper, that be with the hood, has so come as an angel of death to harvest the king's soul. I have spoken from the Lord. Shalom.